Hey guys, how's it going? My name is TRSKSS, and welcome back to the channel. And it looks like that in today's video, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about some paid DLC content in GTA 5 Online, and the possibility of this happening in the future. Now before I do get any further, I do want to ask if you guys could be ever so nice to support the video with a brand spanking new like, and also if you guys are brand new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe, because I upload latest and greatest GTA 5 content and for those of you that don't want to miss it I do encourage you to smack that subscribe button and also guys if we can see if we can go for 20,000 likes then I will buy every single person that liked this video a brand new free GTA 5 modded account because I know that some of you guys need that GTA 5 modded cash in your wallets so you know what I will make sure that I buy you guys those accounts if we can somehow hit 20,000 likes also guys, before we do get into the video further, I do want to say that all the audio and content on this video has been pre-recorded, and that this video itself was on a scheduled release date, and if the content in this video is not as up to date as it could be, I do apologize for that, but I did have some other things that I needed to take care of, so I needed to make a bulk amount of videos in one day and release them throughout the time that I needed to take care of the things I needed to do. Now guys, with all that over, let's get right into the video. So I've been getting some multiple messages from people over on Twitter and things like that. And you know what? They've been telling me some very interesting things. And whenever you guys send me something on Twitter, I always make sure that I do read it. And I do sometimes respond or sometimes I don't, or sometimes I just keep posting the weird things that I post over on my Twitter. I'll put my Twitter down in the description. But some people have been asking me, do you think that GTA 5 is going to be having a paid DLC and some person even sent me an article where it said that the next DLC is going to be paid and I do want to say that if you guys see an article like that that the article itself is false that the Cunning Stunts DLC is not going to be a paid DLC for GTA 5 or anything like that so if you guys are seeing any articles like that please do ignore them as they are all a hoax. Now another thing that I want to talk about as I've said is that people have been sending me questions saying do you think that GTA 5 is gonna one day be a paid platform or do you think that we're gonna need to pay a certain amount of money to play the DLC and in turn maybe have a cheaper DLC or something like that and my answer to that is no I do think that the DLCs themselves will continue to be free and will be truly free for those of us that have a good amount of Grand Theft Auto 5 money in our bank accounts. I know that some of you guys are kind of struggling with that GTA 5 cash after the finance and felony update and things like that. And I do agree that the updates in GTA 5 are a little on the expensive side, if you guys know what I mean. And so I don't really think that Rockstar is going to make paid DLC a reality, unless, of course, they lose a lot of money from their shark cards, which leads me to my next point. Somebody else on Twitter also sent me a photo of an article that said that Rockstar Games has made $500 million, yes, $500 million in microtransactions throughout their world of Grand Theft Auto V Online. And I did do some research into this, and I discovered that this itself was actually true. Rockstar has made roughly $500 million in microtransactions in GTA V Online. Now, for those of you that are unsure about what a microtransaction is, it's actually where a company themselves has an online mode and they have additional add-ons that you can purchase for and use to your advantage in the gaming world and the gaming platform. So for example in GTA 5 I know that you guys can purchase some little avatars or something on Social Club or on the PSN store or something like that and Rockstar themselves actually does get the $2.49 or the stuff like that from those microtransactions that they added into their game. And another big microtransaction for Rockstar is the shark cards, which you guys see, they do leave a dent in your wallet in real life, and they also do bolster your wallet in Grand Theft Auto Online, but the money that the shark cards give you does not last forever, as you guys have seen with this expensive DLC content that the money that these shark cards are costing is a little outrageous and after you guys buy one of those brand new Pegasi Reapers and fully customize it to every single thing then it's kinda hard for you guys to 
you know buy any more of the content without having to purchase more shark cards and things like that now guys I don't really think that Rockstar is going to be making this paid DLC a reality anytime soon because you know as I've said 500 million dollars a mic that if Rockstar themselves were to make a paid DLC that people wouldn't really want it and they might just make it so that way there's a two servers like I know that with the finance and felony update everybody had to download it to be able to play GTA 5 but say there was a paid DLC like maybe it was an additional heist or something like that I think they'd make you know kind of a two server world so that way those of us that didn't want to pay the money to play Grand Theft Auto Online could still play and enjoy the content and for those of us that did they could play it as well and they could just enjoy it now guys that's really all I have for today's video so if you did go on to enjoy it then make sure that you do drop me that shiny blue thumbs up and as I said if we can get 20,000 likes I will buy everybody that liked the video a brand new free modded GTA 5 cash account because I know some of you guys need that cash and also subscribe to the channel if you are brand spanking new because I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of my Grand Theft Auto 5 content here in the near future. Now guys, with that being said, this is Jerris KSS, and I will see you guys later on with a brand new GTA 5 video. Peace.